Well, we're broadcasting live out of Dallas, Texas, and across the nation. And one of the things is our our uh, listening audience listens to us on multiple platforms, but one thing they have in common that would interest you and me is that they're born between 1946 and 1964. That makes them baby boomers. And a place for mom is really important for them. And you're president of a place for mom. So thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, November is a National Family Caregivers Month. Let's talk about what are the latest findings and insights regarding the overall state of caregiving for seniors in the United States. Well, that's a great question. You know, I think, as you mentioned, the baby boomers are actually at the heart of the context around caregiving. We are expected to see a rapid increase in the number of seniors in the U.S., and we think it will reach over 80 million of seniors by the year 2040. So as that number grows, family caregivers face serious challenges. So here at A Place for Mom, we wanted to understand that more, and we launched our new state of caregiving survey. And so I have some of those results, and I wanted to share just a few highlights. What we found is that almost all caregivers report feeling overwhelmed and emotionally drained. 82% said that they had to make meaningful sacrifices and are still not able to provide adequate care for their senior loved ones. And 75% said they have less time to focus on their work or even had to quit their jobs altogether. So as you can imagine, this is just the tip of the iceberg of the hard reality that's happening with our caregivers today. When does the uh, findings talk about the process of finding the most suitable, suitable senior care or senior living solutions for our aging parents? Yep. Yep. So, you know, families need to really understand how to look for the right solution. So I always recommend considering three things. The first one is care needs. So we want to understand what activities of daily living does the senior need support with. Second is cost. We find that two thirds of our families feel unprepared in understanding senior care costs. So looking at different options, understanding those ranges and how to pay is the second tip. The last one is probably most important. All families want their parent or loved one to be in a warm, welcoming community with a sense of joy. And so service, staff, amenities and activities are the third critical component in the decision-making process. Can you tell me the definition of what is a place for mom? Are we, I know it's a company, but could you explain what you guys do? Absolutely. We're the leading national senior care advisory service. So we have expert local advisors throughout the country that help families at no cost to them navigate this journey end to end and help them find the best home care or senior living options tailored and personalized to their unique needs. With family caregivers, did your report talk anything about what kind of support systems or resources are available to assist the family caregivers? Yes, so what we found is that initially, Family caregivers tend to seek advice from friends and family, occasionally also asking for input from healthcare providers. But there comes a time when a real plan needs to be put together on what to do. And that's really where Place for Mom Advisors come in. Our team starts with a simple but important question. Tell us about your mom or dad, uncle or aunt. We gather all the important information starting with medicine, mobility, bathing needs, food, activities, what type of music does mom like, and then provide that personalized recommendation to help guide them through the process. And for those that are interested and in need of senior living options, our team will even serve as a concierge to set up tours, get the feedback, and help with the moving process. And do you sign up to get that?
support from um, your company or is there a fee for it? It is all at no cost to families. And that's the great thing, is that no one should or have to do it alone. We are here to help, and, and it's so important, which is why I really I'm here, to bring awareness to how important this issue is and how important it is to get the expert advice in this critical journey. In the month of November, November the 11th to be specific, we'll be supporting Veterans Day here in America. Are there any special benefits for veterans and their families that they may want to hear about? Absolutely, there are. You know, there are more than 8 million senior veterans in the U.S. And to your point, they may be eligible, along with their spouses, for the VA aid and attendance benefits. And so our advisors work with veteran families to help them get that benefit, access to it, and better understand it at length. And then importantly, I'm excited to share some new news today, which is that we've just joined forces with USAA, a leading veterans organization for financial resources with over 13 million members. Together, we want to expand our impact to help more veteran families and their seniors. If my audience missed anything, and I'm sure they're interested in this interview, where would you send them online? Visit a placeformom.com. Everything I talked about and a lot of other additional resources available, as well as contact information for local advisors in your area. My message to you is you don't have to do it alone. We are here to help. Tatiana Zolowski, hope I say that right, is president of A Place for Mom. It's a service that we all want to uh, use in the near future. Thank you so much, Tatiana. We really appreciate you being on the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. Hosted the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBB Show. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to youtube.com slash show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.